guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i'm jutero what's good what's problem but yeah today i filmed this pretty girly glittery eyeshadow look for valentine's day so if you're interested to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching Same. my face is already cleaned and moisturized i use bio oil it's really good it's been helping me out but anyways Second thing I do is fill and conceal my brows. I'm gonna do this off camera just because it takes it takes so long. But I just want to let y'all know that I'm using the NYX Micro Pencil and Espresso to fill in my brows. And I use Tarte Shape Tape in the color tan. And I use I mix these two with Ruby Kisses Beautiful Bronze. I feel like I've said this before in past videos, but you know, new people watch me every day, so yeah. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'm gonna get right back with ya. I'm gonna get right with ya. Okay, anyway, yeah. Right, so I'm back and I got my eyebrows filled and concealed. They may look a little bit like uneven, but they're not, I promise you, my eyebrows just are crazy. So yeah. After I have concealed and filled in my brows, I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm using this dense angle brush from Morphe and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this concealer all over my eyes just to give me a nice base and I'm gonna blend that in if you see me looking over here it's because my mirror is over here and yeah I gotta see what I'm doing guys I'm sorry now that that's blended I'm gonna take the air spun powder I think I got mine from Walmart I'm gonna take this fluffy brush also from Morphe and I'm just gonna take a little bit and set that concealer so I have a nice base for my eyeshadow. So the first color I'm going to use is this like mauve pink purpley shade right here and I'm going to put that like all over, really all over my lid. Literally I'm going to cover that, that thing all up and I'm going to use the BH Studio number no. 5 brush. And to get the best payoff with all these eyeshadows, I'm going to take the color and I'm going to pat it onto my lid first. And then I'm going to like go in and actually like blend out that color. So, so far this is what we have going on here. Why did I just change accents? I don't know. But yeah, now I'm going to go into the 88 eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, if I can open it. I am taking, where's the color? I'm taking this pink right here. It's like pink. When I say it's pink, it's like, this needs to go really good or really bad. But I'm going to start off with a little bit and I'm going to take it in like my outer V. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics V5 brush to apply that. And I'm using circular motions to blend it forward. Look at me sounding all like official and whatnot. Okay. So while I'm doing this, let me talk about why I've been gone for so long because like I sound legit because I've been practicing even though I haven't been putting out videos I've been low-key practicing you know and now I sound legit and stuff like I'm proud of myself but I've been gone because I was watching my videos one day and I watch YouTube all the time and I hear myself talk about oh her lighting is bad in this frame or Oh, her, but she needs a backdrop. There's too much going on in her background. I can't focus on what she's doing. I'm always critiquing someone else, and I started looking at my own videos, and I was like, "Sis, this shit is whack. This shit is whack." Like, not to cuss. I'm sorry, but um, I wasn't liking like the end result of my video, so I was like, "I need more filming equipment." I got a vlogging camera. I got a stand for my ring light because I never even had a stand for it. I got backdrops. I got a backdrop kit. I got a MacBook, y'all. Like what? At first I had an HP. Are you are you shizzinging me? Yeah, like I just had to take a break and get myself together. Spend a little bit of coins so my videos look way better. 
All right, back to the tutorial. I'm gonna take this color right here. It's like a purpley. It kind of got a little bit of glitter in it. I don't want the glitter, but what else? I'm gonna take this with my Elf blending brush, and I'm gonna put that in my my crease, and I'm gonna bring it forward, give me some definition and whatnot. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go back with that light, like that like super pink shade, and I'm just gonna blend out any harsh letter, um, <laughs> any harsh letters. Yes, Jatera, because you have letters on your face. I'm gonna blend out any harsh lines and make this look nice and smooth. This eye looks popping, and this eye is like, what the fuck? I'm gonna fix it though. I'm gonna fix it, like right now. Yeah, so now that I have that, I'm going to go in with this NYX Glitter Brilliance. And it's like super, super pretty. Before I put on this NYX Glitter though, I'm gonna take my glitter adhesive from Too Faced. It's called Glitter Glue, looks like this. So I'm just gonna take this like small detailed angle brush from Morphe once again, and I'm gonna take some of it. I'm gonna take this like flat brush also from Morphe, and I'm going to pick some of the glitter up. Let's see how this works. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, child! This glitter, honey, did not come to play. Uh, Y'all, this is a lot of freaking glitter. I mean, I like it, but... Overall, I really like this. I'm proud of myself, y'all. I, I F with this, okay? I F with this. So now, I'm going to put on some falsies. I'm going to be using these Kiss Lashes. They are so pretty. I got them from... Where did I get these from? I got them from Bath. Bath, Bath & Beyond. I was about to say Bath & Body Wear. And I'm going to use my... Handy Dandy IMB by Kiss Lash Adhesive with Aloe Vera. Hold on, pause. Before I do that, I gotta put mascara on my own lashes. Are my tripping? Okay, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Colossal. So once that's dry, I take my tweezers. Hope you guys can see. I place it right above my lashes in the center, and then I go and I take the tail place it on my outer outer lid and I press and I take the beginning and I press and then I take my tweezers and I like to um, I like to squeeze the falsies with my lashes to make sure that they're super duper secure. And once that's done, I like take my fingers and I squeeze them together even more. Then I take my mascara and I go under and just blend my lashes. Can my neighbors stop yelling? Cause like, what are you even yelling about? Like it's, what's, what's good? 
Okay, so our eyes are done for right now. Um, so I'm gonna move over to face. Right now, I'm just gonna take this Garnier Skin Active. Uh, how you say this? My cellar cleansing water. But I'm just gonna clean up my eyeshadow a little bit by going like this. And I'm just like really trying to get this glitter and this extra eyeshadow off my face. Okay, back in action. So I just applied this Cover FX um, mattifying primer all over my skin. It's really, really good. I freaking love it. It makes my face feel super velvety. Next, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Quick Fix. It's glitter. It's, it's, okay, it's really dirty, but I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to spritz this all over my face to basically lock in that Cover FX primer. Okay, this smells really good too. Now that my face is prepped and primed, I'm going to use the NARS, my baby, um, what is this, the All Day Illuminous Weightless Foundation, and I am the color medium dark number four, so yeah. I'm gonna pump this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take my Sephora brush in number 202. Looks like this. Yeah. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna apply my foundation all over my face. Don't forget to get your neck your ears just just get everything okay sis get everything y'all see that coverage because I have a lot of dark spots on my cheeks do y'all see that coverage I just I just I just want to take a minute a minute a second like y'all see that coverage and I really like this brush because I get to take this smaller side of the brush and like really get in between my eyebrows and around my eyebrows without like messing them up I really like it so now that that's done I'm going to make my mixture again on the back of my hand using the same concealers that I used to um, conceal my brows earlier just cuz it gives me the perfect color and the perfect consistency and it really blends in with this NARS foundation like so bomb. And I'm going to take my beauty blender and just spritz it with water to dampen it. And I'm going to blend that out with a real technique sponge. Take the same brush with the same concealer and I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. My cupid's bow. And a little on my chin. I do like the littlest. And I like to blend in sections like this because I don't like when the concealer dries too much and then it's really hard to blend. Yeah, okay. So now what I like to do is take my air spun and I'm gonna set, but I'm gonna use a dry beauty blender. I feel like it takes away the Oh, oh! Oh! Too much stuff on my desk. I think it takes away the, the purpose of um setting with a dry powder if you're gonna use a damp sponge, you know? You know? And now I'm just taking this big fluffy brush from Sephora. It is the number 91, I believe. Yep. Yeah. 91 powder brush. And I'm gonna brush that powder away. 
no flashback. So for my concert, I'm going to use this Ruby Kisses Concealer in Ebony. It's nice and chocolatey. <laughs> and I'm just going to contour a little bit around my forehead. And I'm going to take this dense brush. I don't know where I got this from because it was a gift for my mommy for Christmas but take any dense brush and just lightly pat the product into your skin bye bye edges I'm sorry And when I contour my cheek, I like to press the product up. I'm pressing up. You don't ever want to pull it down because you don't want the contour to be muddy down here. So I like to press upwards. So now that that's done, I take the same the same brush but I don't take any product out I just lightly follow the shape of the side of my nose like that I like to take this little dense brush and I like to take this to blend out the side of that contour And then you got a snatch nose, sis. Okay, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is set that contour. Um, I'm not even gonna show y'all this palette because it broke into pieces, but just take a dark color that matches your skin tone, a light fluffy brush. I'm gonna use a light fluffy brush. It's from Morphe. Okay, this is what we about to do. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush, take a little bit of this dark powder, and I'm just gonna go over everywhere I contour with, with the concealer. Okay, now that we're done, I'm going to take that same Urban Decay spray from earlier and I'm just going to spray my entire face and lock in all of these powders so it blends in and melts into my skin. So don't be afraid if I spray a lot because I'm going to go ham, okay? It's really needed, I promise you. Like, it's going to make your face look 12 times better, okay honey? All right, and I'm gonna let that dry up a little bit, y'all. This beat is coming together, okay? I mean, my knees. <laughs> it's coming together. You feel me? I'm proud of myself. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fave. Y'all should be used to this, the Laura Geller and Gilded Honey, with my big fan brush, also from Morphe. And uh, this is gonna be my base because I'm gonna use. Two highlights today, okay. Being extra, it's Valentine's Day. We gotta do it. We gotta, we gotta do it up, okay. So, take your it, honey. Oh, freaking pretty! It's so pretty, like. Okay, before I go ham, I'm going to take this little brush, I don't know where I got it from, I'm oh so sorry, and I'm going to hit my little bubble on my nose, little bubble, Cupid's bow. down the bridge of my nose. Ooh. 
Y'all, didn't come to play. Didn't come to play. I'm gonna hit my brow bone just a little bit. That's the first layer of highlight because now we're gonna go in with Fenty. Okay, you feel me? We're going in with Fenty. This is Kilowatt, of course. Mean Money and Hustler Baby. You feel me? I'm gonna go in with Hustler Baby, which is on this side. Just because it has a lot of pinky undertones to it. I'm done. Baby, honey, I'm glowing. Wow. Mine is blown. Okay, before I get to create away with myself, honey boo boo kitty, I'm gonna take this dense brush. I don't know what you're supposed to use this for, but what your tear is gonna use it for. Okay, she's gonna go back into the Carly Bible palette and she's gonna get why am I talking like that? I'm gonna get this shade right here. This is the first shade that we use today all over our lid, and I'm gonna go finish my eyes. I'm gonna go ham with my mascara, same one as earlier. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to line my lips with this NYX pencil in, I don't figure out a name, but it's brown. Once I do that, I'm going to take this NYX soft cream in London, and I'm going to put that all over my lips. To blend that even more, I'm going to go in with NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. I thought this was Madeline. This is Fortune Cookie. Oh, excuse me. Okay, guys. Let me stop messing with it. This here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys missed me on your screens or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time.